I'm Andrea. I'm Hector. Live your best life for the one you lost. That's what one ghost is. Nothing but diamonds around my neck and around my wrist. I'm looking good. It's a sunny day. Sunny day. It's a sunny day. It's a sunny day. And we all got ghetto dreams. Diamond rings. Adam & Sons AC and Heating is a locally owned business. President, CEO, and U.S. Navy veteran Adam Renteria has been certified in HVAC since 2010. Adam is also certified as a home performance specialist through BPI. Adam & Sons offers professional work, excellent quality service with affordable prices. Whether it's commercial or residential, Adam & Sons is the one to call. Contact Adam and Sons AC and Heating at 512-844-2695 or email adamrenteria64air at yahoo.com. Mention you heard this ad on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast and get 10% off your service call. Gridiron Warriors, take the field in an epic battle that is larger than life. It is called... Texas High School Football. Only one show can bring the greatest sport from the greatest state in the focus. Lone Star Gridiron. If you're looking to capture that special moment, let Adrian Gutierrez Photography capture that special moment for you. Whether it's a wedding, birthday, family photo, or any special occasion. Adrian Gutierrez Photography is the right one to turn that special moment into a memory that will last a lifetime. Adrian Gutierrez proudly supports Lockhart Lion Athletics and can be seen at many events in Lockhart, as well as at Lockhart Lion Sporting Events offering his time to create special moments for the Lockhart community. You can contact Adrian Gutierrez Photography at 512-227-6794, email adriangutierrezphotography at gmail.com or his website adriangutierrezphotography.com. If you find yourself stuck on the side of the road or in an accident, call Quantum Towing and Recovery at 512-295-8697. Quantum Towing has been a family-owned business since its inception in 2000. We offer 24-hour towing and recovery services for your vehicle. We also offer a wide range of services such as lockouts, jump starts, tire change, wrench outs, and environmental hazard cleanups. We have four locations that cover Kyle, San Marcos, Lynn, and Lockhart. Quantum Towing is only a phone call away for all of your towing needs. We know it can be hard to follow a dream, even harder to sustain one. However, at Changing Faces Barber Academy, we not only understand, but welcome those walking the path of their reveries. We make it our purpose to teach beyond just a skill set of cutting hair. In fact, we want to help with communication dexterity, give you the abilities to not only build clientele, but to be able to build off one. A good barber is the customer service he or she gets. And that is the mission here at Changing Faces Barber Academy. If you are interested in making a career of becoming a barber, you can visit our website at cfbarberacademy.com or stop on by at 900 Bug Lane Suite 115 in San Marcos, Texas. If you're looking to liven up your child's birthday party or celebration, JR's Bouncy Biz has what you need. From your basic jump house and water slide, to a choice of a boys or girls combo bouncy house with slide. For more information and to schedule a reservation, you can call 737-262-0231 and let JR's Bouncy Biz help you liven up your party. Ket Riddle Properties has been the main sponsor of the Lions Pride Sports broadcast since 2020 and has been a big supporter of Lockhart Lion Sports for over 40 years. Lockhart Lion fans all over the world have been able to follow the games on the Kent Riddle Properties scoreboard, as well as being the main sponsor of the Lions Pride Sports broadcast. Kent is also the QA guy for every broadcast. Kent Riddle has been in the real estate business for over 35 years. If you are looking to buy, sale or lease a property in the area, you can contact Kent Riddle at 512-359-0036. Nestled on the outskirts of Luling and Lockhart, is the beautiful and quaint chapel on Mayberry Hill. 
a tiny wedding chapel specializing in micro weddings, vow renewals, officiant services, and as a photography venue. The chapel is both rustic and elegant, as it sits atop the wooded grounds of a private residence. Named after the homestead and hill it rests upon, the chapel features a cedar accent wall, stunning cedar slatted high ceilings, genuine hardwood floors, and beautifully restored stained glass windows. The Mayberries are both ordained ministers and enjoy the opportunity to provide small, affordable and stress-free micro-wedding ceremonies, with a wide range of services and all-inclusive packages. Follow the chapel on social media or see their website at chapelonmayberryhill.net. Meitler Plumbing LLC is the one to call on for your plumbing service work in Lockhart and Caldwell County. Call Darren Meitler from Meitler Plumbing at 512-398-3146. Darren has been with the family business for over 30 years and has been voted best plumber in Caldwell County numerous times. Master licensed and bonded. So, for any plumbing issues, call Meitler Plumbing for your plumbing service. Darren Meitler is also a 1989 Lockhart alumni and football captain for Lockhart Lions. Go Lions! Once a lion, always a lion. Old Pal Texas Tavern, located on the square in downtown Lockhart at 100 East Market Street. From a variety of appetizers, fried chicken, burgers, and salads, Old Pal is the right place for your hunger. We're open seven days a week, Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Fridays and Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. Our kitchen will be open late for Lockhart Lions Friday Night Lights home games. Old Pal Texas Tavern, cold drinks, fried chicken, and famous smash burgers are perfect for your after-game score. At Old Pals, we are proud supporters of the Lockhart Lions and the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. Smoke Texas Barbecue puts smiles on faces. Since 1900, Kreitz Market has been putting smiles on faces with every bite of Smoke Texas Barbecue. Located off of Highway 183 at 619 North Colorado Street in Lockhart, Texas, fifth generation owner Keith Schmidt continues the tradition of providing the best barbecue in Texas with its award winning varieties of beef, sausage, and pork meats. All Kreitz Barbecue is post oak smoked to perfection under pitmaster Roy Perez's watchful eye in Kreitz Market's hallowed brick pits. Let Kreitz cater your party or event. Kreitz can assemble a complete barbecue dinner and sides for any event in Central Texas. To get a quote on catering, Kreitz Barbecue Catering Manager Weston Black can be reached at 512-398-2361. That's 512-398-2361. Kreitz Market opens seven days a week, Monday through Saturday from 10.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. and on Sundays from 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can find out more about Kreitz Market on their Facebook page or go to KreitzMarket.com. That's www.KreitzMarket.com. Working hand-in-hand with the community to keep our Lions safe. This school year, Lockhart ISD is launching Lion Guard, a community watch program in which individuals can apply to volunteer and be a positive presence on the campuses for students while also monitoring and checking for any potential safety concerns. All Lion Guard volunteers must undergo a criminal background check and will participate in civilian response to active shooter events training and stop the bleed training. Anyone who is interested is welcome to apply. Go to the Lockhart ISD website and from the menu tab click on Parents and scroll down to hit the volunteer in LISD. Join the pride of Lockhart. Tab and sign up. Attention parents of all young athletes. Are you looking to take your game to the next level? Then join us at Lions Legacy, where our dedicated and experienced coaches provide free group training sessions to help you improve your skills and reach your full potential. We also offer low-cost private and sports-specific training as well. But that's not all. By joining our Legacy program, you'll have access to camps, scholarships, community events, team-building exercises, tutoring, and more throughout your school and athletic career. So come be a part of something special and start building your legacy today. Join us at Lions Legacy and let's take your game to the next level. For more info go to www.lionslegacy.org or call us at 512-200-2005. Go Lions! Richie 360 Photo Booth Rentals is your one-stop shop for your next event. Whether it's weddings, baby showers, birthdays, graduations, and more. You can have the best of both worlds with our 360 video booth and mini booth mirror. The 360 photo booth is a revolutionary next level photo booth experience. 
The revolving camera surrounds attendees capturing a 360-degree slow-motion movie that your guests will remember forever. Here at Richie 360 Photo Booth this is where moments turn into memories. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook. Shields AC and Heating is a small family-owned business located here in Lockhart, Texas. You can count on us for all your air conditioning and heating repairs. Here at Shields AC and Heating we service commercial and residential HVAC system as well as refrigeration, ice machines and walk-in coolers. So, if you're in need of commercial or residential AC repairs you can count on Shields AC and Heating to be there for you by calling us at 512-227-1219. We take pride in your comfort. If you're looking for a custom-made tumbler for yourself or as a gift. From pro sports, college, high school and inspirational tumblers. Here at Shimmer Me Tumblers we can create what you're looking for. We can create just about any design or style to give your tumbler a one-of-a-kind look. So, look no further than Shimmer Me Tumblers designed by Blanca and Emilio Juarez. You can find us on Facebook and on TikTok. Or you can email us at shimmermetumblers0 at gmail.com. I'm Ross Alexander, founder of the War Room Strength Club. I have been working with individuals and athletes since 2003. I have mentored and worked under the likes of Mike Graham, Bobby Warren, Charles Alston, and first-generation coaches under Mark Pateau. I am also a former two-sport collegiate athlete. I have worked with everyone from those starting their fitness journeys to athletes in collegiate and elite ranks of athletic performance. My ideology is working functional and fundamental strength while also implementing a proactive injury preventative and or recovery regimen. I hold summer performance camps open for young athletes from 11 years old to the collegiate level. I also take clients all throughout the year at any age and fitness level. Along with a workout program, I also offer services for food intake accountability and meal planning and also mental and emotional positivity consulting. I look forward to hearing from you. Go Lions! LoneStarGridiron.com. Access the complete history of Texas high school football, over 100 years of information, win-loss records, coaching histories, individual stats, records, and more. Lone Star Gridiron, the authority on Texas high school football. are set up for an onside kick and that's what's going to happen that one's going to be a high kick and that was going to be picked up number 11 that's Dickens. By Dickens. That's Dickens. And he's, and he's gonna bringing gonna it all it. the way back and he'll take it into the end zone <laughs> for a <laughs> kickoff return for a touchdown ashton dickens and talking about quarterback <laughs> with the kickoff return for a touchdown that one's going to be hit hard up the middle towards center field and out of here for a two-run shot 
Don't run the slot deep. Yeah, it's going to be a sort of a long pooch kick as Quavon Reese will field it right around the 17 yard line. All right, all right. Bring it up the middle. Got one one person to beat. The kicker is left to beat it. Quavon Reese down the far sideline into the end zone for the Lockhart line touchdown. We'll have a 1 0 advantage, and that one's going to be swung on and hit towards right field. That's going to find the gap out in right center field, and that's going to be out of here as Contreras will lead the game off with an opposite field. Home run. And here comes Plowman. He loses the dribble. That one's going to be stolen by Ashton Dickens all by himself. And the stunk from Dickens. And we are back from the Lockhart line timeout as we all set up fourth down and seven. That's going to be a handoff to Gonzalez. He goes around the right side. Got some room to run. Cuts it off to the outside. Into the end zone for another Lockhart line touchdown. This one from 33. Welcome to today's broadcast of Lockhart Lions Sports on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast brought to you by our main sponsor Kent Riddle Properties. Now let's take you to the stadium with the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast crew. From his home studio, Kent Riddle is the QA, the football analyst, the coach Amato Galvez, TD Tom Dunn with color commentary, and in his 10th season as the voice of Lockhart Lions Sports, Emilio the Sarge Juarez.
And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to tonight's District 25-5A matchup between the Lockhart Lions and the visiting Liberty Hill Panthers. Before we get started with the broadcast, do have a couple of announcements that we would like to hand out. Of course, uh, these aren't the type of announcements that are expected to be made, but we feel it's a duty and an honor to show respect and give respect when it's deserved. But starting off with the Lockhart Independent School District, Coming from the Lockhart ISD Facebook page, we are saddened to share the loss of longtime LISD employee Beverly Pryor. Ms. Pryor served Lockhart ISD for over 17 years, and most recently as a substitute coordinator, secondary receptionist at Lockhart High School. Not only was Ms. Pryor truly exceptional at her job, but she also exuded such warmth and positivity that you can feel as soon as you stepped into the front office. She always had a smile on her face, a positive attitude, and a friendliness towards all. Ms. Pryor's loss has been felt deeply throughout our campus the last week. She made a profound impact on so many students, colleagues, and families during her career with Lockhart ISD, and we are praying for her loved ones. A celebration of life service for Mrs. Pryor will be held on April 14th on, in Lockhart High School at the Joe Go Pack Center at 2 p.m. Please join us in keeping Miss Pryor's family and friends in your prayers during this difficult time. So once again, our thoughts and condolences with Miss Beverly Pryor. And our next one, of course, it was... Uh, this comes from the Liberty Hill Football Boosters. It says, our hearts are heavy with the news of the loss of one of our freshman Panthers this week. Our football family is devastated by this tragedy, and we are struggling to, to comprehend this loss. As we grieve, we are reminded of the importance of community and support during this difficult time. If you have the means, please consider donating to the family of our fallen Panther. Any contribution, no matter how small, can make a difference and help ease some of the financial burden during this trying time. We also ask that you rally around our young men and women, coaches, family members, and friends of our Panther community, as our Panther community always does. Let us come together for all, to offer love, comfort, and support to those who need it most. Remember, you are never alone. The Lions Prize Sports Broadcast family continues to send our deepest condolences and prayers to the family and friends of Isidro Bacon Rodriguez, as well as to the Liberty Hill Independent School District and the entire community of Liberty Hill, Texas. To show our love and support, tonight's broadcast of Lockhart Lion Baseball will be dedicated in memory of Isidro Bacon Rodriguez. I know that the family of Isidro is watching tonight's broadcast. If you look at the top right corner of the screen where our Lions Pride Sports Broadcast logo is at, for tonight's broadcast, our logo will be replaced by a photo of Isidro Bacon Rodriguez. May God bless you all that have been affected with many blessings of peace and comfort with the loss of this young man. Isidro Bacon Rodriguez, gone too soon, but never will be forgotten. Lions Pride Sports Broadcast has shared a post that was made by the Liberty Hill Booster, a uh, football booster Facebook page with a link for the GoFundMe for Isidro Bacon Rodriguez. So once again, our thoughts and prayers go out to Ms. Beverly Pryor of Lockhart Independent School District and Isidro Bacon Rodriguez of the Liberty Hill community. Just know that we have everybody in our thoughts and our prayers who are who have been devastated by this tragedy on both sides of our schools for Lockhart and Liberty Hill. So with that, we'll take a brief silent, a moment, a moment of silence for both Beverly Pryor and Bacon Rodriguez.
All right, with that, we're going to get ready to start the introductions. I'm going to turn off my headset and turn on the crowd mic as we get ready for tonight's District 25-5A matchup right here on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. All right, welcome to tonight's District 25-5A varsity baseball game between the visiting Liberty Hill Panthers and your Lockhart Lions. Now introducing the Liberty Hill Panthers, starting with the reserves. Number three, Gavin Volt. Number six, Caden Cockburn. Number four, Daniel Rodriguez. Number eight, Giancarlo Giletti. Number 11, Jager Ray. Number 13, Noah Kalel. Number 14, Hayden McBee. Number 15, Tyler Bergeron. Number 16, Chase Breckle. Number 17, Fozzy Moore. Number 18, Kyle May. Number 20, Sean Parsons. Number 21, Caleb Henderson. Number 24, Gavin Ortiz. Number 25, Clayton Ward. Number 28, Derek Long. And number 29, John Rodriguez. And now for the starting lineup for the Liberty Hill Panthers. Batting first, the playing catcher, number 23, Carson Sharp. Batting second, a playing shortstop, number two, Caleb Calvert. Batting third, and playing left field, number 10, Jordan Andrews. Batting fourth, and playing center field, number 22, Toby Ryman. Batting fifth and playing second, number seven, Andrew Basie. Batting sixth and playing right field, number nine, Kobe DeMars. Batting seventh and playing first, number 27, Blaze Milam. Batting eighth and designated hitter, number 12, Colton McDaniel. Batting ninth and playing third, number one, Pearson Lowry. And on the mound for the Liberty Hill Panthers, number five, Cole Tanksley. And now introducing the home team and your Lockhart Lions. Starting with the reserves, number 14, Novo Sanchez. Number 15, Jesse Flores. Number four, Xavier Schulke. And now for your starting lineup for the Lockhart Lions, batting first and playing center field, number three, Jacob Wisnan. Oh my God! I love you, number three! Batting second and playing third, number one, Gage Deutz. Oh my God, Jonathan! Batting third and behind the plate, playing catcher, number two, Santiago Guerra. Batting fourth and playing shortstop, number six, Nick, 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 Batting fifth and on the mound for the low court Lions, number 16, Ethan Mendez. Batting six and playing second, number 19, Caden Mavis. Batting seventh and playing right field, number seven, Waylon Phillips. Batting eighth and playing first, number 13, Weston Phillips. Batting ninth, the designated hitter, number 20, Austin Rodriguez. And playing left field, number nine, Giovanni Vasquez. Now please rise and remove your cap as we play the national anthem.
And now a word from the great Bambino himself. All right, once again, tonight's contest considers the home team, the Lockhart Lions, taking on the visiting Liberty Hill Panthers. Here's where they stand in District 25, 5A standings. Liberty Hill stands on top with a three-way tie with Leander Rouse and Cedar Park at 7-2, while the Lockhart Lions are down in the eighth spot with a 1-8 record tied with the Leander Glen Grizzlies, where they split a, game, a series between each other earlier in the season. And that game was won on a seventh inning home run by Gage Deutz to beat the Glen Grizzlies 1-0. And the Grizzlies return the favor on the Lockhart Lions in the second game at Glen. But that's how the rankings stand. Of course, Lockhart and Liberty Hill played against each other earlier on Tuesday this week. And uh, actually, it was Wednesday. Had a rain out on Tuesday night. And Liberty Hill won that contest at Liberty Hill by a score of 3-0. And here we are for game two of the series. As for the Lockhart Lions, let's take you around the horn with the Lockhart Lions. Behind the plate is going to be Santiago Guetta, Weston Phillips at first, Caden Mavis at second, Nick Ojeda at short, Gage Deutsch at third, and going from left to right field, Giovanni Vasquez, Jacob Wisner, and Waylon Phillips to round out the outfield for the Lockhart Lions, and to top it off at the mound, on the mound for the Lockhart Lions for tonight's contest, going to be number 16, Ethan Mendez. <coughs> And when the Liberty Hill Panthers come up, we'll take you around the horn with them as well. But right now, they'll be coming up to bat. They'll be led off by number 23, Carson Sharp, the catcher, followed up by Caleb Calvert. And Jordan Andrews will be the first three batters to come up to bat for the Liberty Hill Panthers. I'm going to be doing PA duty, so you'll hear me cutting away to announce the batter's name as they come up to the plate. And here we go with the first batter of the game. Leading off for the Liberty Hill Panthers, number 23, Carson Sharp. So once again, before our first pitch, our thoughts and condolences, deepest condolences, go out to the Rodriguez family of Liberty Hill and the community as well as we get set to start the game. And the first pitch of the game is going to be inside, catching that inside corner for strike one. Oh, one pitch on the way. That's yeah, going to be outside for ball at one. One and one the count to the leadoff batter, Sharp. <laughs> Sharp is behind the plate for the Liberty Hill Panthers when they hit the field. And thought about swinging. That's yeah, going to hit that outside corner for strike two. So far, Ethan Mendez has hit the inside corner and outside corners. One and two to count to the leadoff batter for tonight's district matchup. That's going to be a breaking ball going off the end of the bat. Fouling it back to the backstop for strike. Well, for, for the count to remain, one ball and two strikes. <laughs> Once again, want to welcome everybody to the broadcast, whether you're watching on our Lions Pride Sports Broadcast Facebook page on our, or on our Lions Pride Sports Broadcast YouTube channel. And the one-two pitch is going to hit Sharp. And Sharp will head over to first base on a hit by pitch. Now up to bat, number two, Caleb Calvert. So the leadoff batter is at first base, getting hit by the pitch, and he's got a big lead off of first. And squared around to Bunt, bunts it down the right side. Mendez scoops it up over to first, and in time for out number one. But that would advance the runner over to second base, and that's going to be Sharp. And now coming up to bat. Now to bat for the Panthers, number 10, Jordan Andrews. And Santiago is going to go to discuss probably 
the signals as they Panthers do have a runner at second base. They want to change things up a little bit. A lot of gamesmanship. So one out so far here in the top of the first inning. And across the way, we do have the Liberty Hill Panthers, Lady Panthers taking on the Lady Lions. Right across the street from the stadium, and I'll try and get updates on that. And that's going to be right down the middle for strike one. Yeah, we have one out here in the top of the first. That's going to be up and away. It's going to make the count one and one. Jordan Andrews at the plate. Mendez with the delivery, just missing on the outside for ball two. Two and one to count. Yeah. And the Panthers have a runner at second. That's going to be Carson Sharp. He was hit on a one-two pitch. And was advanced over on a sacrifice bunt by Calvert. And that's going to miss outside. That'll make the count three balls and one strike to the batter. <laughs> three one pitch on the way. Missing. That's going to be a walk. And the Panthers will have two runners on the base pads. Now to bat for the Panthers, number 22, Toby Ryman. So Ryman will dig in with two runners on the base pass. And one out here in the top of the first. And that's going to be outside for ball one. And once again, Panther runners on the base pass. Carson Sharp at second, Jordan Andrews at first. And up and away for ball two. <laughs> Mendes looking to find the spot. And there he does with strike one. That'll make the count two balls and one strike. A 2-1 pitch. That's going to be outside for ball three. <laughs> yeah, 3-1 pitch on the way. That's going to be swung on a dribbler to the shortstop. Ojeda over to first. Excuse me, Ojeda, and that's going to be enough for out number two, in time for out number two. But that's gonna move the runners over. Now up to bat, number seven, Andrew Bassey. So that'll bring up the second baseman, Andrew Bassey up to the plate. Two outs here at the top of the second, two Panthers on the base pads. 
Sharp at third, Andrews at second. And the first pitch will be right down the middle for strike one. Well, one pitch on the way, and that's going to hit that outside corner for strike two. Mendes shaking off a couple of signals from Guetta. 0 2 pitch on the way. And a swing and a miss. Drop third strike over to first. And in time for out number three. As Mendez will collect his first strikeout of the night. That'll leave two runners stranded on the base pass for the Panthers. So after one half in in a play, no score. Lockhart Lions do have an opportunity to come up to bat for the first time. Here in the bottom of the first, they'll have Jacob, Gage, and Santi leading things off of the Lockhart Lions. But right now, we'll take a quick timeout and we'll be right back with some more Lockhart Lion baseball right here on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. Kent Riddle Properties has been the main sponsor of the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast since 2020 and has been a big supporter of Lockhart Lion Sports for over 40 years. Lockhart Lion fans all over the world have been able to follow the games on the Kent Riddle Properties scoreboard, as well as being the main sponsor of the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. Kent is also the QA guy for every broadcast. Kent Riddle has been in the real estate business for over 35 years. If you are looking to buy, sale or lease a property in the area, you can contact Kent Riddle at 512-359-0036. And we are back. As we will head to the bottom of the first inning, I want to give a big shout out to our main sponsors, Kent Riddle Properties and Kreitz Market Barbecue. Also, an extra big shout out to Kent Riddle. He is not only our main sponsor, but he is also our QA for every Lions Pride Sports broadcast. Making sure that we sound good for all you Lockhart Lion fans and for tonight's broadcast for all you Liberty Hill Panther fans that may be tuning in, whether it's on our Facebook page or on our YouTube channel. Welcome to the broadcast. Hope you enjoy tonight's game as we bring it to you live right here on the Lions Pride Sports broadcast. Now let's take you around the horn with the Liberty Hill Panthers. Uh, we'll get the first batter out of the way, and then we'll take you around the horn. Leading off for the long card lines, number three, Jacob Wisnant. As Wisnant comes up to the plate first, we'll have Sharp behind the plate, Milam at first, Basie at second, Calvert at short, Lowry at third, and going from left to right, we'll have Andrews, Ryman, and DeMars in the outfield. And on the mound, number five, Cole Tanksley. And he'll deliver the first pitch to Wisnet outside for strike one. <laughs> the 0-1's going to be inside. Gets away from the catcher for ball one. One and one to count. And the hole in the on-deck circle for the long card line is going to be the third baseman, Gage Deutsch. And in the hole is number two, Santiago Guerra. Uh, swinging a miss for strike two. Going after that high heat. Another one, two. That's going to be hit right back up the middle. Great job by Tanksley to snag that one and over to first base for out number one. Now to bat number one, Gage Deutsch. Gage Deutsch coming up to bat, the third baseman. And he'll look at the first pitch for strike one across the way. Here the national anthem going down at Lady Lions Field. As they're getting their game underway right now. Of course, we started ours probably about 10 minutes early. Not bad. That one's going to be fouled out of play over the right side for strike two. (laughs) 
Once again, Liberty Hill defeated the Lions on Wednesday night by a final three to zero at Liberty Hill. No two pitch on the way. Yeah, that's gonna miss up and in for ball one. Tanksley with a one two, the delivery, swing and a miss for strike three, and out number two. As Tanksley will pick up his first strikeout of the night. Now up to bat number two, Santiago. Get her. Well, Lockhart has hit two home runs in, in the season so far. Both of them have come from Gage and Santiago. One each. Here we are, two outs here in the bottom of the first inning. Santiago looks at the first pitch, low it outside for strike one, but not low enough to get it out of the zone. The 0 1 pitch hit right back up the middle to center field, and Santiago will reach base. Now up to bat for the Lockhart Lions. Number six, Nick Ojeda. So Nick Ojeda will dig into the batter's box with two outs here in the bottom of the first inning. Santiago Guetta reaching first on a single to center. And that one's gonna be in the turf for strike one. Oh, that was in the turf for ball one, excuse me. I was mesmerized by the turf from turnaround around in home plate. That's going to be low for ball two. <laughs> if you haven't seen Lockhart baseball this year on the Lions Pride Sports broadcast, they got a turf right around the home plate area. That one's going to be swung on and fouled back to the backstop by Ojeda. That'll be a 2-1 count. Of course, they're waiting, waiting for the rest of the turf to grow out into the rest of the field. <laughs> As Tankley will step off the rubber to reset himself. And Nick Ojeda will do the same thing in the box. But definitely a well-needed upgrade at home plate here at Lions Field. Swing it on the 2-1 pitch over to right field. DeMars underneath it, he'll make the squeeze for out number three. And that'll do it after one in and a play. No score. Liberty Hill Panthers zero. Lockhart Lions zero. We're going to take a quick time out. We'll be right back with a more Lockhart Lion baseball right here on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. Smoke Texas Barbecue. Put smiles on faces. Since 1900, Kreitz Markin's been putting smiles on faces with every bite of Smoke Texas Barbecue. Located off of Highway 183 at 619 North Colorado Street in Lockhart, Texas, fifth generation owner Keith Schmidt continues the tradition of providing the best barbecue in Texas with its award-winning varieties of beef, sausage, and pork meats. All Kreitz Barbecue is post oak smoked to perfection under pitmaster Roy Perez's watchful eye in Kreitz Market's hallowed brick pits. Let Kreitz cater your party or event. Kreitz can assemble a complete barbecue dinner and sides for any event in Central Texas. To get a quote on catering, Kreitz Barbecue Catering Manager Weston Black can be reached at 512-398-2361. That's 512-398-2361. Kreitz Market opens seven days a week, Monday through Saturday from 10.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. and on Sundays from 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can find out more about Kreitz Market on their Facebook page or go to kreitzmarket.com. That's www.kreitzmarket.com.
And we are back to start the top of the first inning. Yes, Colby DeMars will lead things off for the Panthers. Ethan Minn is still on the mound. Now leading off for the Liberty Hill Panthers, number nine, Colby DeMars. <laughs> so the right fielder who made the catch for the third out to end the first inning steps into the batter's box. Ethan Minn is still on the mound for the Long Car Lions. No defensive change at all out on the playing field. And the first pitch to DeMar is going to be there for strike one. The 0-1 pitch just missing low for ball one. The 1-1 one, one pitch from Mendez on the way. That's going to be slashed down the left side. Foul for strike two. And DeMars finds himself behind in the count. One ball and two strikes. To the leadoff batter here in the top of the second inning. And that one misses for ball two. <laughs> the 2 2 pitch just missing. That's going to make the count full to DeMars. Three balls and two strikes. That one's going to be lined down the left side past the dive and gauge. Deutsch, DeMars rounding first as Vasquez brings it in. And a leadoff hit to start the bottom of the top of the first inning by DeMars. Now up to bat, number 27, Blaze Milam. So the Panthers once again get the leadoff batter of the inning on the base pads. As the Panthers get their first hit of the night. DeMars with a nice little leadoff of first, the first pitch. To Milam is going to be low and outside for ball one. The wind is blowing out towards left center field. Runner goes. That one's going to be poked over to second. Not in time. Over to first. That's going to go over the head of Phillips. And DeMars will scoot on over to third base. And the Panthers will have runners at the corner. Now coming up to bat for the Panthers, number 12, Colton McDaniel. So once again, the Panthers with two runners on the base pads, this time with nobody out. And they are at the corners. DeMars at third, Malam at first. McDaniel at the plate, squared around to show bunt. That one's going to be low in the turf for ball one. And that one will hit that inside corner for strike one. One and one the count to McDaniel, the designated hitter. He's at the plate batting for the pitcher, Cole Tanksley. That one's going to be high for ball two. I believe on Tuesday night, Santiago threw out two runners, caught two runners stealing at second base. If 
Probably weighing on Milan's mind at first base. And the coach's staff over to third base. And DeMars will get back on the bag. So 2-1 count. And that one's going to be swung on and fouled back for strike two. 2-2 two and two to count. So two and two to count, nobody out here in the top of the second inning. Two runners on the base pads for the Panthers. That one's gonna be hit towards the shortstop. They'll get one at second. Oh, they're gonna get, there's gonna be a wide throw to second. Milan's gonna make his way over to third. And the Panthers will have a run across board. Now to bat number one, Pearson Lowry. So back-to-back -back errors will put a run across the plate for the Panthers, and they lead one to zero. Runner goes from first. That's going to be that throw is going to get out away from the hand of Santi. Count is going to be, that one's going to be swung on and fouled out of play. Count is 0-2. and 0-2 with nobody out. McDaniel at second, Malam at third. That one's going to get away from Guetta, and Milan will score from third base. And McDaniel will make his way to third on the pass ball. That'll give the Panthers a 2-0 lead with nobody out here in the top of the second inning. Ground ball to the shortstop, backhanded by Ojeda over to first. Great stab and a throw. But McDaniel will score from third base. And that'll make the score. Liberty Hill three, Lockhart line zero as we go back to the top of the lineup with the Liberty Hill Panthers. Now up to bat, number 23, Sharp. Sharp was hit by a pitch and then stranded at third base to lead the game off for the Lions. He comes back up to bat with one out here in the bottom, top of the second. Swinging at the first pitch. It's going to get by Gage Deutsch out to left field, and Sharp will reach on a single to left. And we'll have a courtesy runner coming into the game. It looks like that's going to be Gavin Ortiz coming into a run for Sharp as he is a catcher. Now up to bat, number two, Calvert. So Calvert's 0 for 1. Coming up to bat for a second time. You look at the first pitch. Outside for ball one. Once again, Gavin Ortiz. Running for Sharp is at first base. Swing and a miss for strike one. And Calvert's looking at a 1-1 one -one count. Yeah, that's, that's, that's 
runner goes. That's yeah, going to be a chopper hit towards third. Nice job by Gage Doyce up throwing over to third. And they're going to double up the runner at second base. And that's going to end the inning. That'll be a 5-3-5 double play. So at the end of one and a half innings, the Liberty Hill Panthers put three across the plate here on the top of the second and lead the Lockhart Lions by a score of three to zero. When we come back, we will see Ethan Mendes, Caden Mavis, and Waylon Phillips, the first three coming out to bat. But right now, let's take a quick timeout, and we'll be right back with more Lockhart Line baseball right here on the Lions Prize Sports Broadcast. Shields AC and Heating is a small family-owned business located here in Lockhart, Texas. You can count on us for all your air conditioning and heating repairs. Here at Shields AC and Heating we service commercial and residential HVAC system as well as refrigeration, ice machines and walk-in coolers. So, if you're in need of commercial or residential AC repairs you can count on Shields AC and Heating to be there for you by calling us at 512-227-1219. We take pride in your comfort. Leading off for the Lockhart Lions, number 16, Ethan Mendes. And Ethan Mendes will start things off here in the bottom of the second inning. And the first pitch to him is going to be a fastball high for strike one. I mean, for ball one, excuse me. Tankley still on the mound for the Panthers. That one's going to be a ground ball hit down the left side, right down the line. Mendez rounding first on his way to second. And Mendez will start the inning off with a stand-up double. Caden. Now up to bat for the Lockhart Lions. Number 19, Caden Mabus. So Caden Mabus, the second baseman, will be stepping into the batter's box. Ethan Mendez with the leadoff double to start the bottom half of the second inning. That second base, nobody out. Lowry with the first pitch to Mabus is going to be low for ball one. At the conclusion of the game tonight, we will have your Kreitz Market post-game show. We'll have your Kreitz Market Offensive Player of the Game and your one goes fitness defensive players of the game for the Lockhart Lions. Still got plenty of baseball left for that, and that's going to be low for ball two. <laughs> 2 old pitch on the way. is going to be swung on to the third baseman. Checks the runner over to first and in time to get the speedy Mavis at first base. 6-3 for out number one. And that's going to bring up Waylon Phillips. Now coming up to bat for the long court lines, number seven, Waylon Phillips. So Whit Phillips comes up with one out, and that's going to be low and in the turf. So one and oh the count, one out here in the bottom of the second. Waylon Phillips at the plate, Ethan Mendes at second with the stand-up double to start the inning off. 
And Whalen will get a piece of that one. It'll go right back to the catcher's mitt for strike one. One and one to count. Ground ball hit to the shortstop, charging, fields it cleanly over the first. And great job by the first baseman to scoop it out of the tur out of the dirt for out number two. That's going to be Milan at first base with a great play and, and uh, Calvert at shortstop. Now up to bat for the long court lines, number 13, Weston Phillips. Now the older brother of Wayland Phillips who just grounded out, it comes up to the plate with two outs here in the bottom of the second inning. That one's going to be low, gets away from the catcher over to third base. Sliding head first is Ethan Mendez. So he'll advance the third on a pass ball. And the first runner of the game for the Lions, potential runner or run, is 90 feet away from the plate. Yes, Carson Sharp makes his way out to the pitcher's mound, or made his way out there to talk to the pitcher, Tanksley. Give him some encouragement. That one's going to be fouled right back to the backstop for strike one. One and one to count to Wayland Phil or Weston Phillips, excuse me. Austin Rodriguez, the designated hitter in the on deck circle. That one's going to be swung on and hit into right field as the first run comes across the plate for the Lockhart Lions. That'll score Ethan Mendes. That'll be an RBI single for Waylon Phillips. And now up to bat for the Lockhart Lions, number 20, Austin Rodriguez. So Rodriguez will come up to the plate with two outs. Weston Phillips at first. And he'll look at the first pitch for strike one. Jacob Wisnett in the on-deck circle. The leadoff batter for the Lions. That's going to be low for ball one. Great job by the catcher, Sharp, to keep that in front of him. A one one pitch on the way. That's going to be low and in the turf. And another great job by Sharp to keep it in front of him. <laughs> and ground ball hit towards the second baseman. He'll scoop it up over to first. That's going to be Bassey to Milan, 4-3. Will end the inning. But now before the Lockhart Lions able to put one run across the plate. But after two innings of play, it is Liberty Hill Panthers 3, Lockhart Lions 1. Let's take a quick timeout, and we'll be right back with more Lockhart Lions baseball right here on the Lions Price Sports Broadcast. Adam & Sons AC & Heating is a locally owned business. President, CEO, and U.S. Navy veteran Adam Renteria has been certified in HVAC since 2010. Adam is also certified as a home performance specialist through BPI. Adam & Sons offers professional work, excellent quality service with affordable prices. Whether it's commercial or residential, Adam & Sons is the one to call. Contact Adam and Sons AC and Heating at 512-844-2695 or email adamrenteria64air at yahoo.com. Mention you heard this ad on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast and get 10% off your service call. And we are back for the top of the third inning. But before we do, I want to remind you tonight's broadcast has been dedicated in memory of uh, Liberty Hill Panther football player, freshman football player, Cedro Bacon Rodriguez. 
As you see, his our Lions Pride Sports Broadcast logo on the top, brand, top right-hand portion of the screen has been replaced by a photo of Mr. Rodriguez. We will remain on there for the rest of the broadcast. And once again, our deepest condolences to the family and friends of Mr. Rodriguez and the Liberty Hill Independent School District and the Liberty Hill community. We have a pitch and change on the mound as Weston Phillips will take the mound. Waylon Phillips will go from right to first. Ethan Mendez will go from the mound to third. Caden Mabus will go from third to second. Or Caden Mabus will go from second to right field. Gage Deutsch will go from third to second base. And I think I'm going to make the switch from play-by-play -play to video camera guy. All these defensive changes out here. <laughs> but that's where we stand out on the field right now as we get set for the top of the third inning. Leading off for the Liberty Hill Panthers, number 10, Andrews. So Jordan Andrews will come up to bat for the second time. He's walked his first plate appearance and was left stranded at second back in the first inning. So he comes up for his second trip. And he'll look at the first pitch for strike one as Weston Phillips is on the mound now. Swung on and hit towards right field. And Caden Mavis will take a few steps forward. He'll make the squeeze for out number one. <laughs> now up to bat for the Panthers, number 22, Toby Ryman. So once again, one out here in the top of the third inning. Ryman up to the plate. He's 0 for 1 tonight. Looks at the first pitch for ball one. one old pitch on the way. Swung on and hit into right center field. And Ryman will reach on a single. Now up to bat number seven, Andrew Bassey. <clears throat> so Andrew Bassey will come up to the plate. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout tonight. Over to first base from Phillips to Phillips. And Ryman will slide back safely. Well, he'll get back to the back safely. That's going to be in the turn for ball one. Great job by Guetta, keeping that in front of him. Ryman does have some speed at first base. He's got a nice little lead as well. That's going to be fouled right back to the backstop for strike one. One and one to count. That one's going to be popped up in the infield. Gage Joyce making the call for it, and he'll make the squeeze for out number two. Now up to bat number nine, DeMars. <coughs> so DeMars is one for one tonight with a run scored. He'll be digging into the batter's box with two outs here at the top of the third inning. Toby Ryman at first base with a single to right center field.
That's going to be inside for ball one. Ryman getting a big second-hand lead off of first. Got to be very cautious with an arm like Geta behind the plate. And that's going to miss for ball two. Runner goes. Geta with the throw. And almost in time, but great slide by I, time uh, Ryman. That's yeah, going to be ball three. So Ryman will get a stolen base and a feather on his cap as he steals that one off of Geta. And that's going to be inside for ball four. And that'll put two runners on the base pass. DeMar's at first, Ryman at second. Now up to bat, number 27, Melam. All right, so Malam reached base on an error. So he's still looking for his first official at bat. And scored also. You actually picked my skin. And that's going to be called strike one. As Weston will step off the rubber to reset himself, just as Milan will at the plate. <laughs> and once again, timeout at the plate. It's going to be outside in the turf for ball one. One and one the count as Phillips turns to second, no throw. It's going to be swung on and fouled down the left side for strike two. Count's going to be one and two to Blaze Malam. First baseman for the Liberty Hill Panthers. One two pitch on the way. That one's going to be swung on and fouled off the tip of the bat down the right side. Right in front of the Lockhart Lions dugout. Count will still remain. One ball and two strikes. A one two pitch on the way. That's going to be up and in for ball two. So two balls, two strikes, two outs, two runners on the base pads. That one's going to be hit right back up the middle past the dive and gauge Deutsch. And rounding third on his way home is DeMars. 
or excuse me, it's going to be Ryman. So that'll put two runners on the base pads as Milan gets a single. Now to bat number 12, Colton McDaniel. So the Mars will be at third base. Malam at first. And McDaniel at the plate. He'll look at the first pitch for strike one. McDaniel reached on an error, so he's looking for his first official at bat. And McDaniel also scored the third run of the inning back in the top half of the second. That one's going to be hit in between the shortstop and third. And another run across the plate. That'll be DeMars. So back-to-back -back RBI singles will give the Panthers a 5-0 lead over the Lockhart Lions. Now up to bat number one, Lowry. So the number nine hitter who grounded out to the shortstop, his first plate appearance. He's batting 0 for 1 tonight. We'll be digging into the batter's box with two runners on the base pads with two outs. That's going to be low and outside for ball one. Got Milam at second, McDaniel at first. Lowry at the plate. Hit down the third base, past the dive in Mendes. Rounding third on his way home. The throw will not be in time. And Milan will score. And McDaniel will make his way all the way to third while Lowry travels to second. Now up to bat number 23, Sharp. <coughs> And that'll take us back to the top of the lineup. Batting one for one tonight is sharp as it looks like we have a timeout. As Coach Adios will make his way to pitcher to the pitcher's mound to talk to Weston Phillips and the rest of the infield. As far as we stand right now, Liberty Hill Panthers put three across the plate in the top of the second. They have three right now here in the top of the third. While the Lockhart Lions able to put one in the bottom of the second, but trail six to one with two outs here in the top of the third inning. And after some encouraging words, Weston Phillips will remain on the mound for the Lions. So once again, Sharp at the plate, oh for uh, one for one tonight. Was hit by a pitch in his first plate appearance and then singled to left field back in the second. That one's going to be hit high into left center field. Going back for it is the, and that one's going to find the outfield wall, the outside field wall. That's going to be a three-run shot by Sharp. And that'll make the score 9-1. to one. And it looks like Adias... Has seen enough. His second plate appearance in the inning. That means Weston Phillips will have to make his way out. And that'll bring in Nick Ojeda up to the plate. But while Ojeda gets his warm-up pitches, we're going to take a quick timeout, and we'll be right back with more Lockhart Line baseball right here on the Lions Pride Sport broadcast. Meitler Plumbing LLC is the one to call on for your plumbing service work in Lockhart and Caldwell County. Call Darren Meitler from Meitler Plumbing at 512 398-3146. 
Darren has been with the family business for over 30 years, and has been voted best plumber in Caldwell County numerous times. Master licensed and bonded. So, for any plumbing issues, call Meitler Plumbing for your plumbing service. Darren Meitler is also a 1989 Lockhart alumni and football captain for Lockhart Lions. Go Lions! Once a lion always a lion. If you're looking to liven up your child's birthday party or celebration, JR's Bouncy Biz has what you need. From your basic jump house and water slide, to a choice of a boys or girls combo bouncy house with slide. For more information and to schedule a reservation, you can call 737-262-0231 and let JR's Bouncy Biz help you liven up your party. And we are back as we have a defensive shift now. On the mound for the Lockhart Lions is Nick Ojeda. He goes from short to the mound. Weston Phillips will go from the mound to second base. And Gage Deutsch will go from second to short. And that will bring up Caleb Calvert up to the plate. Now batting for the Panthers, number two, Calvert. So after the three-run home run by Sharp, Ojeda will step up to the mound and go up against Calvert. Calvert is 0 for 2 tonight with a big swing and a miss right now for strike one. Breaking ball missing for ball one, one and one the count. Liberty Hill Panthers putting up a two out rally, putting up six runs on the board. The last three coming off of a three run bomb by Sharp over the left center field wall, right over the 350 sign. Of course, the dimensions here at Lockhart High School baseball field, 300 down the line, 350 in the gap, and 360 dead center. 2-1 the pitch. That's going to be high for ball three. <laughs> and that one will catch that corner for strike two. That'll make the count full. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. That one's going to be swung on, hit towards Weston Phillips at second over to first to Whalen. And the Phillips brothers go from four to three to end the inning. But not before the Liberty Hill Panthers put six on the board here in the top of the third inning. After two and a half innings of play, it is Liberty Hill Panthers nine, Lockhart Lions one. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be right back with the more Lockhart Lion baseball right here on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. I'm Ross Alexander, founder of the War Room Strength Club. I have been working with individuals and athletes since 2003. I have mentored and worked under the likes of Mike Graham, Bobby Warren, Charles Alston, and first-generation coaches under Mark Pateau. I am also a former two-sport collegiate athlete. I have worked with everyone from those starting their fitness journeys to athletes in collegiate and elite ranks of athletic performance. My ideology is working functional and fundamental strength while also implementing a proactive injury preventative and or recovery regimen. I hold summer performance camps open for young athletes from 11 years old to the collegiate level. I also take clients all throughout the year at any age and fitness level. Along with a workout program, I also offer services for food intake accountability and meal planning and also mental and emotional positivity consulting. I look forward to hearing from you. Go Lions! Now leading off for the Lockhart Lions, number three, Jacob Wisnut. 
So Jacob Wisnett will lead off the top of the third inning, or bottom of the third inning, excuse me. He's 0 for 1 tonight. Grounded out back to the pitcher to lead things off for the Lions. Back in the first inning. And he'll take a big swing and a miss for that one for strike one. Gage Deutsch in the on-deck circle. That one's going to be hit hard towards the left field. Going back, back, back. And Wisnut goes solo shot over the left field scoreboard. <laughs> so Wisnut rounds third on his way to home and touches all four for the second run of the game for the Lockhart Lions. Now batting for the Lions, number one, Gage Deutsch. So Wisnett gets the third home run of the season for the Lockhart Lions. And Gage Deutsch comes up to the plate, sees a fastball outside for ball one. That one's going to be low for ball two. Of course, Gage Deutsch, Gage Deutsch is no stranger to home runs himself as he has a game winner against Glenn earlier in the year. That one's going to be hit towards right field. DeMars will come up and make the squeeze for out number one. Now coming up to bat, number two, Santiago Guerra. So Santiago, his first plate appearance was a single right back up the middle. Tanksley still on the mound for the Panthers. That's going to be a ground ball hit towards the shortstop. Calvert over to first. To Milan for out number two. Now batting for the Lions, number six, Nick Ojeda. Ojeda is 0 for 1 tonight. And he'll look at the first pitch for ball one. And two outs here in the bottom of the third inning. And that one's going to miss outside for ball two. Yeah, that one to get right in there for strike one, two and one to count. Two one pitch on the way. That's going to be a ground ball hit towards the second baseman. Gets through the five hole, and Ojeda will reach base on an error. And now coming up to bat for the Lockhart Lions, number 16, Ethan Mendes. <laughs> Mendes is one for one tonight with a double down the left field line. That started off the second inning. It was a first runner across the plate for the Lockhart Lions. Throw over to first where Ojeda is going to slide back safely. Ethan Mendes comes up to the plate with two outs here in the bottom of the third inning. Once again, Nick Ojeda at first. <laughs> Chopper hit down towards left field. And Ethan Mendes will go two for two tonight.
And now up to bat for the long card lines, number 15, Jesse Flores. Jesse Flores will be batting for Caden Mavis. He comes up to the plate with two outs here in the bottom of the third inning. With two runners on the base pass, Ojeda at second reaching on an error. And Ethan Mendez reaching on a single to left field at first base. And Jesse Floyd is at the plate, batting for the first time tonight. And he'll take a look at the first pitch for strike one on the outside. That's going to be low and outside. That one's going to bounce right back to the pitcher for ball one. Of course, I know a lot of uh, Jacob Wisnett's family is watching the game tonight. And I'm pretty sure y'all are excited to see Wisnett going yard to lead the in and off. That one's going to be high for ball two. Two one pitch on the way. That's going to be high for ball three. <laughs> That's going to be strike two. So full count with two outs, pitch on the way, and that's going to catch that outside corner for strike three. Lockhart Lions put another run on the board off the bat of Jacob Wisnett with a solo shot over the left field wall over the scoreboard. <laughs> but after three innings of play, the Liberty Hill Panthers still lead the Lockhart Lions by a score of nine to two. We're going to take a quick timeout, and we'll be right back with some more Lockhart Line baseball right here on the Lions Prize Sport broadcast. And we are back for the top half of the fourth inning. And just as I mentioned, Claudio Olaire, one of the biggest fans of number three, Jacob Wisnett, got an opportunity to see this young man go yard to start the bottom half of the third inning for the Lockhart Lions as we get set to start the top of the fourth. Now leading off for the Liberty Hill Panthers, number 10, Andrews. A 
so Andrews will lead things off for the Liberty Hill Panthers, who have put three runs in the top half of the second, six in the top half of the third, and lead a nine to two. Swinging on the first pitch. That's going to be fouled back to the backstop. Still on the mound for the Lions, Nick Ojeda. Once again, Andrews, the leadoff batter here in the top of the fourth. That one's going to be fouled down the left side, out of play for strike two. O2 pitch on the way. That's going to miss inside for ball one. That's going to miss for her ball two. One's going to be hit towards right field. Waylon Phillips comes up with it over to second. And with that, we do have some defensive shifts out there. Get it right after the announcement of the next batter. Now batting for the Panthers, Toby Ryman. At second base is Jesse Flores. And back in right field is Whalen. Weston Phillips goes from second to first. Whalen goes from first back to left field. And Jesse Flores comes into the game in place of Caden Mavis at second base. <laughs> Squaring down to Bunt. Down third base, Mendes comes up, firing over to first base in time to throw to second. So 5-3 for out number one. That'll get Andrews over to first to second base. Now batting number seven, Bossy. So Andrews is over to second on the sacrifice bunt laid down by Bossy. Or by Ryman, excuse me. Bossy at the plate now. He's 0 for 2, and he'll look at the first pitch for ball one. Once again, want to thank everybody tuning in on our Facebook page or and on our YouTube channel. Hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. That one's going to be a little blooper hit. Great job by Gage Deutsch reaching up for it and getting it over to second to double up to end the inning. Six four double play. Gage. Gage Deutsch showed why he's one of the top receivers here at Lockhart High School. Going up to get that one. Get it over to second base to Jesse Flores to end the inning. So we're going to take a quick timeout, and we'll be right back with some more Lockhart Line baseball right here on the Lions Price Board Broadcast. Richie 360 Photo Booth Rentals is your one-stop shop for your next event. Whether it's weddings, baby showers, birthdays, graduations, and more. You can have the best of both worlds with our 360 video booth and mini booth mirror. The 360 Photo Booth is a revolutionary next-level photo booth experience. The revolving camera surrounds attendees capturing a 360-degree slow-motion movie that your guests will remember forever. Here at Richie 360 Photo Booth this is where moments turn into memories. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook. 
Old Pal Texas Tavern, located on the square in downtown Lockhart at 100 East Market Street. From a variety of appetizers, fried chicken, burgers, and salads, Old Pal is the right place for your hunger. We're open seven days a week, Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Fridays and Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. Our kitchen will be open late for Lockhart Lions Friday Night Lights home games. Old Pal Texas Tavern, cold drinks, fried chicken, and famous smash burgers are perfect for your after-game score. At Old Pals, we are proud supporters of the Lockhart Lions and the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. And we are back as Waylon Phillips will lead things off here at the bottom of the fourth inning. Starts off with a big swing and a miss for strike one. And a great way to end the inning for the Lockhart Lions as Gage Deutsch went up top to get the, to get the line out. Quickly getting it over to second base to Jesse Flores. And doubling up the Liberty Hill Panthers to end the inning. That's the second double play, ending inning double play for the Lockhart Lions here tonight. A swing and a miss for strike two. And you're welcome, Miss Claudia. Matter of fact, I was just talking to Jacob's dad earlier before the game. He said the same thing you did. And that's going to be a ground ball to Calvert at short over to Milam at first in time for out number one. Now batting for the Lions, number 13, Weston Phillips. So Weston Phillips will come up to bat. He singled a right field. He is one for one tonight. That's an RBI single at that. He looks at the first pitch, low and outside for ball one. And that's going to be in there for strike one. And that would find the corner for strike two. One and two to count. There, Austin Rodriguez in the on-deck circle, the designated hitter for the Lions. A one, two on the way. Swing and a miss for strike three. Now batting for the Lions, number 20, Austin Rodriguez. So Rodriguez will bat with two outs here in the bottom half of the fourth inning. He's 0 for 1 tonight. He'll look at the first pitch outside for ball one. So we got a miss for strike one. One one pitch on the way. Yeah, that'll catch that inside corner for strike two. And a swing and a miss for strike three, and that'll do it for the Lions here in the bottom of the fourth inning as they go down in order, one, two, three. After four innings of play, Liberty Hill Panthers nine, Lockhart Lions two. We're going to take a quick timeout, and we'll be right back with some more Lockhart Lions baseball right here on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. Shields AC and Heating is a small family-owned business located here in Lockhart, Texas. You can count on us for all your air conditioning and heating repairs. Here at Shields AC and Heating we service commercial and residential HVAC system as well as refrigeration, ice machines and walk-in coolers. So, if you're in need of commercial or residential AC repairs you can count on Shields AC and Heating to be there for you by calling us at 512-227-1219. We take pride in your comfort. And we're back for the start of the top of the fifth inning. As we not only remember Isidro Bacon Rodriguez of the Liberty Hill Independent School District, we also remember a lifetime, a longtime employee of Lockhart ISD, Beverly Pryor, sadly passed away. And we are saddened to share the loss of longtime LISD employee Beverly Pryor. 
There will be a celebration of life service for Miss Fryer, which will be held on April 14th in the Lockhart High School Go Pack at 2 p.m. So please join us in keeping Miss Pryor's family and friends in your prayers and during this difficult time. And if you ever went to a base basketball game at the Lions Den, you always saw Miss Beverly sitting right there in front as she was checking tickets. Leading off for the Panthers, number nine, DeMars. So, Colby DeMars will lead things off for the Liberty Hill Panthers here in the top of the fifth inning, where the Panthers have a nine to two lead. Ojeda still on the mound, breaking ball, slashing in there for strike one. That's going to be high for ball one. One and one to count to DeMars, the leadoff batter here in the top of the fifth. That one's just going to miss outside for ball two. Had a chance to go down to the Liberty Hill dugout to talk to Coach Creek to give him our heartfelt condolences to the Liberty Hill community. That one's going to be hit down the first base line. Foul for strike two. That'll make the count two and two. Got to share with me the impact that was felt throughout the Liberty Hill community, not just through the school district. That's going to be high for ball three. That's going to make the count full to the leadoff batter here in the top of the fifth inning. And a swing and a miss for strike three. As Ojeda picks up his first strikeout. Now up to bat number 27, Malam. So Malam comes up to bat. He is one for one with a run score tonight. Actually he has scored two runs. And he'll look at the first pitch for ball one. That one's going to be hit hard towards center field. Jacob Wisnett going back to his left and just out over his outstretched hands. And he'll fire that one in to the infield, and Malam will reach second on a double. Now batting number 12, McDaniel. And looks like we'll have a courtesy runner checking in. I believe that's going to be number 16, Chase Reckle. He'll be coming in to run for Milan. And once again, Colton McDaniel, the designated hitter at the plate. He's one for one, two runs scored, reached on an error. And had an RBI single to center field back in the third inning. <laughs> and swinging on the first pitch. Just inside. We're off the backstop. As Ojeda starts off with an 0-1 count to McDaniel. Wind is now blowing straight away to dead center. 
Thought about squared around to show bunt, but pulled back for ball one. Do have one out here in the top of the fifth. One one pitch. And that's going to be bunted right back to the pitcher over to first where Flores is at. And that'll be good for out number two. That'll move uh, back all over to first base or third base, excuse me. Now to bat number one, Lowry. So Breckel will be at third base. Lowry in the batter's box. And he'll look at the first pitch for strike one. Lowry is one for two tonight with one run scored. Came across the plate off the three-run home run by Sharp back in the third inning. That's going to be a breaking ball outside for ball one, one and one to count. And that one's going to be outside for ball two. Two and one to count with two outs here in the top of the fifth. And that one's going to miss outside for ball three. Three balls, one strike. Ground ball hit right back up the middle. That'll score Breckel from third base. And that'll take us up to the top of the lineup. Now up to bat number 23, Sharp. Sharp is two for two tonight with a three-run shot. His last plate appearance back in the top of the third inning. He'll look at the first pitch low. For ball one. That's going to be a high-breaking ball for ball two. That one's just going to miss for ball three. Actually, the umpire called that one a strike, so it's two and one to count now. Swing and a miss for strike two. Let's see Adam Renteria tuning into the game. Stick around, buddy. I got your commercial playing up next in between innings. Of course, that's uh, Adam and Sons, AC and Heating. Runner goes. That one's going to be chopped down the left side foul. Count will still remain two and two. Of course, Adam Renteria has been a big supporter of uh, Lions Pride Sports Broadcast as well as Lockhart Lions Sports and RBI Austin, where two years ago he was the coach of the year for the Austin chapter. And a big swing and a miss for strike three, and that's going to do it for the top of the fifth inning. The Panthers able to put one more run across the plate. And now lead 10-2 to two over the Lockhart Lions. And once again, we're going to take a quick timeout, and we'll be right back with some more Lockhart Lion baseball right here on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. Adam & Sons AC & Heating is a locally owned business. President, CEO, and U.S. Navy veteran Adam Renteria has been certified in HVAC since 2010. Adam is also certified as a home performance specialist through BPI. 
Adam & Sons offers professional work, excellent quality service, with affordable prices. Whether it's commercial or residential, Adam & Sons is the one to call. Contact Adam & Sons AC & Heating at 512-844-2695 or email adamrentaria 64 air at yahoo.com. Mention you heard this ad on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast and get 10% off your service call. Leading off for the Long Court Lions, number three, Jacob Wisnett. So Wisnett will be leading things off for the Long Court Lions here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Wisnett came up in the bottom of the third to lead things off and sent it over the scoreboard in left field for a solo shot. And he'll look at the first pitch low for ball one. Of course, Miss Claudia, your guy is up at the plate now. And he'll look at the 1-0 pitch for strike one on the outside. Of course, Miss Claudia, Wisnett is number three in your program, but number one in your heart. And a chopper to the third baseman over to first. And in time for out number one. And I'll tell you what, to get Jacob out on that play, you have to make a clean play and a clean throw. Now to bat for the Lockhart Lions. Number one, Gage Deutsch. So Deutsch is 0 for 2 tonight. Tanksley still on the mound for the Panthers. And he'll throw a ball outside for a 1-0 count. And for Gage Deutsch, his mom, Tish Deutsch. Gage Deutsch is not only number one in her heart, but he's actually number one in the program book as well also. So it's a 1-1 count to Gage Deutsch after he fouls that one back and swing and a miss for strike two. So one and two to count with one out here in the bottom of the fifth. Tanksley delivers one in the turf for ball two. That'll even up the count, two and two to count. <laughs> two, two pitch on the way, and that's gonna hit that outside corner for strike three. And that'll make it two outs. Now batting for the Lions, number two, Santiago Guerra. So Guerra will dig into the batter's box with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. He'll take a swing at the first pitch for strike one. Let's see uh old buddy of mine, Big John Castillo, tuning in. And we still got two more weeks of baseball coming up for the Long Card Lions. We'll show you the schedule of the remaining four games in between innings.
And that's going to be a sharp line drive down the left side, and that's going to be foul. I don't make the count 0-2. And a swing and a miss for strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts will end the bottom of the fifth for the Lockhart Lions. So as we head to the top of the sixth inning, it is still Liberty Hill Panthers 10, Lockhart Lions 2. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be right back with the more Lockhart Lion baseball right here on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. Meitler Plumbing LLC is the one to call on for your plumbing service work in Lockhart and Caldwell County. Call Darren Meitler from Meitler Plumbing at 512-398-3146. Darren has been with the family business for over 30 years and has been voted best plumber in Caldwell County numerous times. Master licensed and bonded. So, for any plumbing issues, call Meitler Plumbing for your plumbing service. Darren Meitler is also a 1989 Lockhart alumni and football captain for Lockhart Lions. Go Lions! Once a lion, always a lion. All right, we're back for the top of the sixth inning. As I mentioned before, we do have two more weeks of baseball left to go. And here are the last four remaining games after tonight's contest. We have uh, two games against Lehman next week. On the 16th, it'll be a home game. We'll catch all that right here on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. And on the 19th, it'll be at Lehman. And the Lions will have back-to-back -back road games. On the 23rd, we'll be at Leander before they come back home for the final game of the year for senior night on May 26th. And they will be hosting Leander right here at 7 p.m. And as mentioned, you'll be able to catch all that live action right here on the Lions Prize Sports Broadcast. All the home games at that. I want to try and see about getting out to Lehman and possibly Leander. So we'll see about that. But stay tuned to the Lions Prize Sports Broadcast Facebook pages. We'll put out all the info as it comes in for your next broadcast of Lockhart Lions Sports here on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. <laughs> Nick Ojeda still on the mound. Everything out on the field remains the same. And the throw down to second lets you know that it's time to play baseball. <laughs> Leading off for the Panthers, number two, Caleb Calvert. So Calvert will lead things off for the Panthers here in the top of the sixth inning. And Calvert is 0 for 3 tonight. Looked across the street. It is the Liberty Hill Lady Panthers up on the Lady Lions, 12 to 0. I believe that one's in the fifth inning, if I'm correct. And a big swing and a miss to start the inning off. Oh, one pitch on the way. That one's going to be fouled down the left side for strike two. Yeah, we were supposed to have a dual broadcast going on with uh, both baseball and softball tonight. Would have been the second dual broadcast on, here on the Lions Prize Sports Broadcast. That one's going to be outside for ball one. But our apologies on the softball side. That one's going to be hit towards the shortstop, backhanded by Deutsch over to first. And going around the tag is Calvert, and he'll be safe at first base. <laughs> now batting for the Panthers, number 10, Jordan Andrews. So Jordan Andrews will dig in. He 
He's one for two tonight. Looks at the first pitch for ball one. He'll send that one down the right side. Out of play for strike one. Yeah. One ball, one strike to count. Nobody out here in the top of the sixth. And a big swing and a miss for strike two as a leadoff batter. Calvert is at first base. That one's going to be off the fist into center field. Wisnet coming in, charging. He'll make the squeeze for out number one. Calvert will stay at first base. Now to bat, number 22, Toby Ryman. So Ryman comes up to the plate. He's two, well, one for three tonight with a run scored. Calvert at first base, one out. Sends a ground ball past the first baseman into right field. Round in second, on his way to third is Calvert. The ball's going to get away from the second baseman, Flores, and Calvert will trot on home. And Ryman will take advantage and make his way to second. Now up to bat for the Panthers, number seven, Andrew Bassey. And it looks like we'll have a courtesy runner checking in. That'll be number 25, Clayton Ward. He'll be running for Ryman. So Ward will be at second base running for Ryman. Bassey at the plate. He's 0 for 3 tonight. That one's going to be in the turf. Gets away from Guetta. That'll be a ball. Waiting to find out what the umpire called for the first pitch. Two and oh is the count. As Ojeda calls for another baseball. So 2-0 the count to Bassey. That's going to be high for ball three. Three and old count. That's going to miss inside for ball four. And that'll put Bassey at first base. Now up to bat, number 20, Sean Parsons. So Sean Parsons will be batting for Kobe DeMars. Bassey is at first base. Ward at third. One out here in the top of the six. Uh, 
I don't know what the issue was, but Arias went out there and spoke with the field umpire. Too bad we can't put mics on them. But whatever the case was, let's get back to playing baseball. Once again, only one out here in the top of the sixth inning. We got Ward at third base, running for Andrews. And Bassey at first base on a walk. Parsons at the plate. See, swinging at the first pitch. You see, fouls it out of play for strike one. Parson is batting for Colby DeMars, the right fielder. Count is Liberty Hill 11, Lockhart Lions 2. That one's going to be hit once again over the right side, out of play. Count is 0-2 to Parsons. And a swing and a miss for strike three. And out number two. That'll bring up number 16, Chase Breckel. Now to bat for the Panthers, number 16, Chase Breckel. So Chase will come in to bat for Milan. Ran for him and scored back in the fifth inning. Here he is up to bat for Milan here in the top of the sixth with two outs. Ward at third base, Bassey at first. Runners at the corners for the Panthers. A uh, foul ball. Fouling it off of his foot. That'll make it strike one. As Coach Martinez comes out with a couple of baseballs. And that one's going to miss high for ball one. One and one to count. That one's going to be hit high in the sky over the left side. Gates Doyd's going over there, and he'll make the squeeze for out number three. So the Liberty Hill Panthers had one more run to their run total and lead the Lockhart Lions 11-2 after five and a half innings of play. We're going to take a quick timeout, and we'll be right back with more Lockhart Lion baseball right here on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. Shields AC and Heating is a small family-owned business located here in Lockhart, Texas. You can count on us for all your air conditioning and heating repairs. Here at Shields AC and Heating we service commercial and residential HVAC system as well as refrigeration, ice machines and walk-in coolers. So, if you're in need of commercial or residential AC repairs you can count on Shields AC and Heating to be there for you by calling us at 512-227-1219. We take pride in your comfort. And a reminder to all you out there, tonight's broadcast is dedicated in memory of Isidro Bacon Rodriguez. Sadly lost his life earlier in the week as a Liberty Hill community, school district, and his family and friends are going through a grieving time. As we continue to send our condolences and prayers, if you go to the Lions Prize Sports Broadcast Facebook page, we did share a post from the Liberty Hill Football Booster as they have a link up there for a GoFundMe page. If you can, you're able to, please go to that link and help the family out in this time of need.
as we have a new pitcher in the game, as I like to call the sidewinder. I believe that's going to be, if my eyesight is correct, that's number 11, Jagger Ray on the mound. Leading off of the Lockhart Lions, number six, Nick Ojeda. <laughs> so Ojeda will lead things off for the Lockhart Lions. And he'll look at the first pitch for strike one on the outside. Nick Ojeda, Ethan Mendes. And Jesse Floyd is the first three to come up here in the top, bottom of the six. And that's going to get away from the catcher for ball one, one and one account. And now it's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. Coming up, throwing his Lowry over to first and in time for out number one. Now to bat for the Lockhart Lions, number 16, Ethan Mendes. So I see uh, Xavier Schulke has just moved him to the on-deck circle for the Lions. He'll be batting for Jesse Flores as the first pitch to Mendes is going to miss for ball one. Swinging at the 1-0, fouling it out of play for strike one. <laughs> one one pitch on the way, swinging a miss for strike two. That one's going to be hit high in the sky. Oh Behind second base, second baseman sliding over. That's going to be Bassey sliding over to make the catch for out number two. Oh now up to bat for the Lions, number four, Xavier Schulke. So Shulky will see his first plate appearance. So Shulky will dig in for the first time tonight. And he'll look at the first pitch for ball one outside. We'll take a swing at that one and gets a piece of it back to the backstop for strike one. One and one the count with two outs here in the bottom of the sixth inning. See my diabetic duo chiming in, Scott Smith. Right, reaching for that one, swinging a miss for strike two. One two pitch on the way, just missing for ball two. That'll even up the count, two and two to count now. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Ray on the mound for the Panthers. Shulky at the plate. 
That one's going to miss inside for ball three. And that one's going to catch that outside corner for strike three and end the six. So after six innings of play, Liberty Hill Panthers 11, Lockhart Lions 2. We're going to take a quick timeout, and we'll be right back with some more Lockhart Lion baseball right here on the Lions Prize Sports Broadcast. If you're looking to capture that special moment, let Adrian Gutierrez Photography capture that special moment for you. Whether it's a wedding, birthday, family photo, or any special occasion, Adrian Gutierrez Photography is the right one to turn that special moment into a memory that will last a lifetime. Adrian Gutierrez proudly supports Lockhart Lion Athletics and can be seen at many events in Lockhart, as well as at Lockhart Lion Sporting Events offering his time to create special moments for the Lockhart community. You can contact Adrian Gutierrez Photography at 512-227-6794, email adriangutierrezphotography at gmail.com or his website adriangutierrezphotography.com. Leading off for the Panthers, number 17, Fozzie Moore. So Fozzie Moore will lead things off for the Liberty Hill Panthers here to start the top of the seventh inning. Nick Ojeda still on the mound for the Lockhart Lions. And the first pitch to start the seventh inning will be low for ball one. So far, the Panthers have put three runs in the top of the second, six in the top of the third, and one each in the top of the fifth and sixth. That's going to be missing for ball two. And the Lockhart Lions have put one run in the second and one run in the third. And that's where we have our scoring right now, 11-2, Panthers up top. And that's going to miss for ball three. So Moore will start this at bat on a 3-0 count. And that's going to miss for a four-pitch walk. And Moore will get on base. Now up to bat, number 24, Gavin Ortiz. So Ortiz will bat for Lowry. Well, this will be his first plate appearance. And he'll look at the first pitch for strike one. So Moore at first base, drawing a leadoff walk. 0-1 count to Moore here in the top of the seventh. That one's going to be sharply hit towards the second baseman. Unable to field it cleanly, but still gets it away to second. And in time for out number one. So that'll be a fielder's choice. Now to bat for the Panthers, number six, Caden Cockburn. And he'll swing at the first pitch he sees, and that one's going to be foul. And 
just foul for strike one. Once again, one out here in the top of the seventh. And Caden at the plate. His first plate appearance. And that one will miss outside for ball one. One and one to count. And that'll be a ground ball hit into left field. And Caden will get on base. That'll move Ortiz over to second. Now batting for the Panthers, number eight, Giancarlo Giletti. So Giancarlo will come out to bat with two runners on the base pads. Ortiz at second, Caden at first. One out here in the top of the seventh. Ojeda still on the mound. That one's going to be swung on and hit towards right center field. That's going to find the gap out there off the bottom of the wall. Ortiz will round third to score. And here comes Giancarlo. Or excuse me, that comes Caden. So a two-run RBI, or an R, <laughs> two RBI double to the bottom of the wall and right center field. That'll give the Panthers two more runs. Now batting for the Panthers, number 13, Noah Khalil. So the two RBI double. We'll make the score now. Liberty Hill Panthers 13, Lockhart Lions 2. That's number 13, Noah comes up to bat. He'll look at the first pitch for strike one. And that's going to make the count 0-2. That one's just going to miss for ball one. One and two to count. That one's going to miss outside for ball two. <laughs> two two pitch on the way. That's going to be swung on and fouled out of play. Count will still remain two and two. That breaking ball will get that outside corner for strike three and out number two. Now batting for the Panthers, number 25, Clayton Ward. So Clayton Ward will come in to bat for Ryman, and he'll look at the first pitch for ball one. I'm going to give a big shout-out to former Lockhart Lion baseball head coach, Trey Honeycutt, head coach of the McCallum Knights. They're sitting in first place in their district. Looking like they're going to be taking district for the second straight year in a row that I can recall. So congratulations to Coach Honeycutt and his crew. That one's going to be fouled away.
count is two and one. One's going to be outside for ball three. And I sent you a message, Mr. Honeycutt, Coach Honeycutt. That's going to cash that outside corner for strike two. That's going to make the count full. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, a runner at second base. Ward at the plate or Jita on the mound. And that one's going to be found back as Ward will stay in the batter's box. That one's going to be hit high in the sky towards center field. Jacob Wisnett calling for it. Coming up to make the squeeze for out number three. So that's going to do it for the top half of the seventh inning, but not before the Panthers able to put two more runs across the plate. As we head to the bottom of the seventh, the Panthers lead 13-2 to over the Lockhart Lions. We're going to take a quick timeout, and we'll be right back with more Lockhart Lions baseball right here on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. We know it can be hard to follow a dream, even harder to sustain one. However, at Changing Faces Barber Academy, we not only understand, but welcome those walking the path of their reveries. We make it our purpose to teach beyond just a skill set of cutting hair. In fact, we want to help with communication dexterity, give you the abilities to not only build clientele, but to be able to build off one. A good barber is the customer service he or she gives. And that is the mission here at Changing Faces Barber Academy. If you are interested in making a career of becoming a barber, you can visit our website at cfbarberacademy.com or stop on by at 900 Bug Lane Suite 115 in San Marcos, Texas. And we are back for the bottom half of the seventh as the Lockhart Lions are down to their final three outs. They will need 11 runs to keep this game going and 12 to end it as Waylon Phillips will be digging in to lead things off for the Lions. Waylon is one for two tonight. Leading off for the Lockhart Lions, number seven, Waylon Phillips. In the on-deck circle is the older brother, Waylon, Weston Phillips. That's in there for strike two. Oh, and two to count to Waylon. And that'll hit that outside corner, drop third strike. But the catcher will make the tag for out number one here in the bottom of the seventh. Now batting for the Lions, number 13, Weston Phillips. So one out here in the bottom of the seventh, Weston Phillips coming up to bat. He'll look at the first pitch up and away for the ball one. And that one's just going to miss for ball two. Noah Sanchez is in the on-deck circle for the Lions. That one's going to be hit off the fist towards the third baseman, coming up firing over to first. It's going to go over the first baseman's head. Weston Phillips will stay at first as that ball had a good bounce off the fence. So Weston Phillips will reach on an error. Now up to bat for the Lockhart Lions, number 14, Noah Sanchez. So Noah Sanchez will be batting for Austin Rodriguez with one out here in the bottom of the seventh. He'll swing at the first pitch, fouls it off to the right side, off the backstop for strike one. And 
in the on-deck circle. We'll head, off, head back to the top of the lineup with Jacob Wisnant. Right now, Sanchez at the plate, 0-1 count. And Sanchez will get a piece of that one back to the backstop for strike two. And that one's going to be right down the middle for strike three and out number two. Now to bat for the law court lines, number three, Jacob Wisnut. So Wisnut is one for three tonight, but that one was a big solo shot over the scoreboard back in the third inning. And look at the first pitch for strike one as the lines are down to their final out. Wisnett was trying to look for a time, but didn't get it in time. But that one's going to be up and in for ball one. And that's going to be sharply hit down the left side. That's going to be fair. Weston rounded second on his way to third, while Wisnett's on his way to second with the double. Now batting for the Lions, number one, Gage Deutsch. So <laughs> Gage Deutsch will come up to bat. He is 0 for 3 tonight. As Weston Phillips is at third base, Jacob Wisnett at second with two outs. Swing at the first pitch. A catcher coming over and makes the catch for out number three on a tough play. Great play by the catcher as this game comes to a conclusion. Liberty Hill Panthers 13, Lockhart Lions 2. We're going to take a quick timeout, and we'll be right back for the Kreitz Market postgame show right here on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. Smoke Texas Barbecue puts smiles on faces. Since 1900, Kreitz Market has been putting smiles on faces with every bite of Smoke Texas Barbecue. Located off of Highway 183 at 619 North Colorado Street in Lockhart, Texas, fifth-generation owner Keith Schmidt continues the tradition of providing the best barbecue in Texas with its award-winning varieties of beef, sausage, and pork meats. All Kreitz Barbecue is post oak smoked to perfection under pitmaster Roy Perez's watchful eye in Kreitz Market's hallowed brick pits. Let Kreitz cater your party or event. Kreitz can assemble a complete barbecue dinner and sides for any event in Central Texas. To get a quote on catering, Kreitz Barbecue Catering Manager Weston Black can be reached at 512-398-2361. That's 512-398-2361. Kreitz Market opens seven days a week, Monday through Saturday from 10.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. and on Sundays from 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can find out more about Kreitz Market on their Facebook page or go to kreitzmarket.com. That's www.kreitzmarket.com. And before we get to the players of the game here on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast, Still want to give our deepest condolences and prayers to the Liberty Hill community for the loss of Isidro Bacon Rodriguez, a freshman football player. Lost his life earlier this week. Tonight's broadcast was dedicated in his honor as his photo was up on the top right-hand portion of the screen, which replaced our logo. And just as the Lockhart Uh, Liberty Hill Independent School District went through a loss. The Lockhart Independent School District went through a loss of our own on the loss of Beverly Pryor, a longtime employee of Lockhart ISD. They will be having a service for her. Let me get it out here. 
They will be having a celebration of life service for Miss Pryor, which will be held on April 14th at the Lockhart High School Go Pack Center at 2 p.m. So please join us in keeping Miss Pryor's family and friends in your prayers during this difficult time. And also for the family, friends, and the community for Isidro Bacon Rodriguez as we keep them, his family, his friends, and our prayers through their difficult time as well. So we've come to the portion of the broadcast where we have your Kreitz Market postgame show. Your Liberty Hill Panthers comes up victorious by a final of 13-2 to over the Lockhart Lions. And with your postgame show, we have your game of the your players of the game honors. And we'll start off with your one ghost fitness defensive player of the game. Lockhart Lions had two double plays in and in the double plays. And both of those were started at the hand of the glove and the throw in of Gage Deutsch. So congratulations to Gage Deutsch. You are the one ghost fitness defensive player of the game. As for your Kreitz Market offensive player of the game, it's going to go to Jacob Wisnan. As Jacob sent one ball, screaming over the left field wall, over the scoreboard in left field, back in the third inning. So congratulations to Jacob Wisnett. You are the Kreitz Market Offensive Player of the Game. And Gage Deutsch, congratulations. You are our one ghost fitness defensive players of the game. <laughs> so that's going to do it for us tonight here at Lions Field. And uh, like I always say, you could take the line out of Lockhart, but you can never take the heart out of Lockhart. And with that, our closing will have a picture of Miss Pryor as our school fight song will be playing in the background to end tonight's broadcast as Isidro's picture will remain on the top right-hand corner throughout the end, till the end of this broadcast. So once again, our thoughts and prayers to the family of Beverly Pryor and Isidro Rodriguez. But that's it for tonight for us here on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. As we close out tonight, Thank you for watching today's broadcast of Lockhart Lions Sports brought to you by Kent Riddle Properties on the Lions Pride Sports Broadcast. And remember like the Sarge always says, you can take the lion out of Lockhart, but you can never take the heart out of Lockhart.